system set up in my living room. It is made up of several different components. The heart and brains of the setup is this computer here running Windows Media Center uh, on Windows 7, which provides a, a nice uh, lean-back display. Um, it can be operated via remote. The Windows Media Computer is um, fed with fed live TV via this uh, indoor over-the-air antenna. Uh, there is a Hophog TV tuner card inside the Windows computer, um, and it uh, receives those over-the-air signals and feeds that to Windows Media Center so we can watch live TV, pause and record, um, do season pass, all those nice DVR-type things. Um, in Windows Media Center, we are also using uh, Media Browser, which is a plugin for Windows Media Center. It provides access to um, our recordings and to our uh, movies, which are stored over here on this uh, FreeNAS server. Uh, and I take the movies that we own and I rip the discs using uh, Make MKV and store those on the, um, this FreeNAS server here. And also, each night, I have been uh, running a job that takes each of the recordings um, from this computer and moves them over to the uh, FreeNAS server. And what that does is it frees up space on the Windows box, because um, it only has a 128 gig uh, solid-state drive, and I have like 7 terabytes of storage on this uh, FreeNAS box. So I uh, put all of our TV shows, all of our movies over here. We also have all of our pictures, uh, also backups from computers. So this uh, basically acts as storage and backup for us. And uh, using that Media Browser plugin, I'm able to access all the recordings from the FreeNAS box over here on the, the Windows box. And then that can then be uh, displayed on the, the big screen here. Let me show you what that looks like. So here we have uh, Windows Media Center up and running, and you can see it here on the TV. Um, and you can see we have options for our recorded TV shows. Um, this is going to show us things that are locally recorded. We can also look at our schedule to see what's coming up and what is going to be recorded there. Um, you can also access our recorded TV, which is over on the FreeNAS box. As I said, we have a, a nightly job that runs, and it will push everything over to the FreeNAS box, and then uh, I can access it here, and you have all the nice artwork that goes with each of those items. And again, we also have our movies that are over there on the FreeNAS box. Accessing these through Media Browser. It takes a second that it'll uh, load it up. And here we have all of the, the movies that we have um, either uh, ripped uh, through um, as the MKV files from the Blu ray disc or the DVD, um, or that have been recorded from over the air. And we store over here some of our B movies. <laughs> Um, now this has been worked very well. Uh, I can show you pull up an electronic programming guide. And this is all the stuff we can pull over the air. Kind of. So I can show you what that looks like. This is going to be coming from over the air. So that was coming over the air through the indoor antenna. And so that has worked uh, very well for us, like I said, for the past three years. We, But then noticed, uh, oh gosh, about a week or so ago, they go into Netflix and get this nice little warning. As of September 15th, 2015, Netflix will no longer be available on Windows Media Center. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Um, 
So since we cut uh, the cord somewhat four years ago, <laughs> uh, Netflix, of course, is a popular option for my family to um, watch TV series and movies, and uh, that has been an integral part of the um, whole Windows Media Center experience. Well, that's going away, and so that's that's a problem, as well as the fact that um, Microsoft, um, with Windows 10, uh, is no longer supporting um, Windows Media Center. Now, I could obviously continue using Windows Media Center on um, my Windows 7 installation, um, the problem being that, of course, Netflix is going to go away. Uh, here recently, Microsoft made a change to their... Um, their electronic programming guide. Um, so how they are providing this information to us, that changed. Uh, so I had to go through a process to uh, reestablish this information because without this information, you basically can't set up your recordings, um, for your scheduled recordings anyway. So uh, anyway, so I'm basically started exploring some different options, and I am now going to uh, try to do something different.